Hello everyone, uh, my name is Nikhil Gajam, working as assistant professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering in Valchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In this video, we will see a display of a singly circular link list in forward as well as in reverse direction. Learning outcome, at the end of this session, students will be able to write a C program to display singly circular link list in forward as well as in reverse direction. Now this is singly circular link list uh, where uh, link list contains some nodes and last nodes next part will always hold the address of head or a start that becomes a circular. Now uh, we will see an algorithm for displaying singly circular link list in forward direction. Now step 1, if the link, link list is empty, we will simply return. Okay, you cannot uh, display uh, the nodes when singly circular link list is empty. In that case, we are directly returning uh, from the function. Otherwise, declare one temporary pointer called as stem for traversing from first load to the last node. Initialize stem to the start. So it will start, uh, temp will point to the first node. So first node, uh, how to uh, point to the first node using start variable, where start is my global variable. Traverse temp till temp arrow next is uh, not equal to start. So you will uh, you will uh, traverse temp from in forward direction from first node to the last node. Now how to find out whether it is last node or not? Uh, last node's next part will contains uh, address of start. So that's why uh, we have used a condition called as uh, traverse temp till temp arrow next is equal to start. So once a temp is pointing to the last node, we will print and we will returning from that function. And every time while uh, traversing, uh, you print temp arrow data every time while traversing. So this is an algorithm for displaying singly circular link list in forward direction. Now uh, second algorithm is for displaying singly circular link list in reverse direction. So uh, there are multiple approaches to print the singly circular link list in reverse direction. Uh, you can use a recursion or you can print singly circular link list in reverse direction without using recursion also. So this is an algorithm for printing singly circular link list in reverse direction. So first step is to check whether a link list is empty. In that case, you are singly, uh, simply returning from the function. Otherwise, check whether uh, next node to the current node is head or, uh, head or not or start or not, which implies that a current node is pointing to the last node or tell. Then you are printing the data and returning. Returning where you are returning from where you have uh, you have called this function. Recursively call reverse function by considering the node next to the current node. And print every time nodes arrow data uh, in reverse order starting from the tail. Okay. Uh, suppose we, uh, we will take this diagram. So what you are doing, you are traversing tam in forward direction first. You are not printing while traversing. Okay, you are uh, go on uh, calling or pointing to the next node one by one using recursive function call. Once a temporary pointer points to the last node, in that case, you start printing from last node. Once a data from the last node you have printed, uh, you are returning back to the uh, previous function call. Then again you are printing. Then you are returning to the previous function call. Then again you are printing. So by this way, you can print 3, 2 and 1 or you can print all nodes in reverse direction. So this is a recursive algorithm we have used for uh, printing a singly circular link list in reverse direction. Okay, you can answer this question. You can pause the video and you can answer. We can traverse the whole circular link list by starting from any point, true or false. You have to state whether this statement is true or false. Statement is we can traverse the whole, singly, uh, whole circular link list starting from any point. Okay, answer is false. You cannot traverse uh, the singly circular link list or uh, any circular link list from any point. Okay, for traversing, uh, you require a global pointer and generally we are using only one global pointer called as start, which always points to the first node. So using first node, you can traverse. Now we will see a program or we will write a code for displaying singly circular link list in forward direction as well as in reverse direction. Suppose this is a main, uh, now this contains uh, four cases. Case 1 is for insert at beginning which is already implemented. Case 2 is for display in forward direction which, uh, which we are implementing now. Case 3 is display reverse 
which again we are implementing now and case 4 is for exit. Insert at beginning, we have already code for insert at beginning which will insert the code at the beginning of singly circular linked list. Now display function we will write now. First initialize one temporary pointer for traversing. Again don't use a start pointer for traversing. Start is a global pointer which always points to the first node. Okay, you cannot uh, change the value present inside a start. Okay, okay. Uh, now this is a struct node star temp. Okay, I will use a do while loop or you can use a while loop also. So this is do while uh, this temp is not equal to start means a uh, temp will start from a first node and it will traverse the complete singly circular linked list and it will come out of this do while loop when temp again reaches to start or first node. So every time you print, so this is printf, this is percent %d, comma, temp arrow data and this is temp equal to temp arrow next. So this is a display function, initially in, uh, uh, declare temp as a temporary pointer, uh, initialize temp to the start, so temp equal to start, so initially temp will point to the first node, this is a do loop, do while loop, so first it will print and it will move forward and this will uh, do while loop, this uh, loop will run till temp reaches again to the first node, okay, it will go on traversing and visiting one by one node. Uh, from this singly singly circular linked list and it will come out of this do while loop when temp again reaches to a start or first node. Okay, uh, we'll execute this this function first and check uh, we'll checking whether okay, this function is correct or not. Okay, just a second. Display reverse semicolon. Okay, I will insert some uh, some nodes inside singly circular linked list. Suppose I want to insert as 44 at the beginning. Next one is 33 at the beginning. Again, next one as 22 at the beginning. Now I will call a display function. Now it is printing 22, 33, and 44. So whatever function we have written uh, for display, that that code is correct. It is printing a singly circular linked list in forward. Okay, now we'll write a code for. Uh, function called as display reverse which will uh, display the singly circular linked list in reverse order. So uh, this is my display reverse function which will uh, accept one argument called as temp. Okay. So this is first one you are checking whether temp has reached to the last node or not. Now to find out whether temp has reached to the last node or not if temp arrow next if that double equal to start indicating that temp has reached to the last node. So what you have to do you have to print the data so this is your printf percent d comma temp arrow data so i will give some space and then return so once a temp has reached to the last node you are printing uh, the value fro from that node of la uh, where temp is pointing okay so else so else means temp has not reached to the last node in that case you are go on calling uh, uh, the same function recursively with next node's address you are passing so this is your display reverse and what you are passing temp arrow next and then last one is your printf this is percent d comma temp arrow data so what will be the exit condition in this function when temp has reached to the last node in that case this recursive call uh, will be ended okay and then uh, you start printing one by one data and return return to the previous function call okay we'll execute this code and we'll check whether this uh, this function is executing correctly or not uh, okay just a second mm, we have okay one two three so we don't have this one So case one is for insert at beginning. So I will uh, insert some nodes. 
suppose 55 uh, then 44 and then 33 suppose uh, you call a display function which will display the singly circular linked list in in forward direction so we have a link list like this 33 44 and 55 suppose i will call a display reverse function in that case now 55 44 and 33 now uh, it is printing in reverse direction so in this program we have uh, uh, written a fun two functions uh, display in forward direction without using recursion and next one is display in reverse direction using recursion okay. presentation now these are some of the references i have used for creating this video thank you